Okay, last weekend, I was hanging out with an old college friend and nabanggit niya sa akin yung Farm On and Cropital. And matagal na talaga ako interested doon. Kaya lang, uh, hindi siya yung priority ko before. Kaya hindi ko siya napupush. So, parang to give you an idea, Cropital and uh, Farm On or crowdfunding crowdfunding platforms natin here in the Philippines na nag aim to aid capital para sa mga local farmers natin para magamit nila on their farms. So, yun, I mean, if you're interested to parang give, uh, invest or pledge money para tulungan yung mga farmers natin, yun yung mga platforms na pwede natin gamitin. Pero, uh, later ko pa pa siya pag-uusapan here in my video kasi I have to go to work muna and yun, let's just talk about it pagbalik ko. So, later pagbalik ko, let's continue talking about farms. I have three important things to do here in BGC today. Alright, yung unang kailangan gawin dito is to submit yung mga application forms ko sa head office namin. Tapos na ako with my first agenda. So ngayon, just meet my friend, grab some application form, then later may imi-meet pa ako isang friend, which is yun talaga yung third agenda ko for today. Nalga! Hoy! Ganyan ka pala pag nasa office. Ako? Ge! Bye bye! Hoy Kevin! Kailangan mo lang internet hindi? Ano? Kailangan mo lang date internet hindi? Ah, mas hindi naman. Ito sa naman yun. This is the last part nung gagawin ko today. Hoy bye! Oi, Rizan. Hello. Hello. Oh, this video will just be a shallow discussion about Cropital and Farm On. And pagu sa pamu natin yung Cropital. So, itong Cropital, I first heard this way back in 2016. So, I was in a startup event called na Idea Space. So, may picture pa ako nandito. So, ayun. Idea Space. And I was this guy. And hindi ko nakilala kung sino to. So, nung mga panahon na yun, uh, I was very interested pa to be part or be a group, be part of a startup company. Pero, ayun, hindi nangyari. So, going back dun sa event, so yung um, capital they're pitching their company para mafund dun sa uh, para mafund the idea space. Capital, an online crowdfunding platform that enables anyone to connect to farmers who need financing. We have Ruel Amparo. This is Mang Arsenio, a 67-year-old farmer from Tuba Benguet. He earns less than 100 peso a day, and he uses that money to feed his six children. In his home, there's no electricity, no water, no bathroom. But what's even worse is that he lives in this vicious cycle of debt. Among him are 11 million other Filipino farmers who are dependent on debts. They often go to loan charts or private debt lenders that offers quick access to cash in exchange for high interest rates that could go as high as 20% per month. But what's even worse is that for some lenders, they even require these farmers to sell their products to them at a lower price, making the lives of these farmers even more miserable. And after noon, uh, nanala sila, they were seeded. So what, what it means para maging seeded. So pag nanalo ka doon, you will be seeded, you will be funded para push and expand yung company mo. And nanalo sila dun sa event na yun. So, yung based on sa pitch nila, how I understand yung company nila is they will be a crowdfunding platform na magsusupport sa farmers natin. So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, they will allow us retail investors na tulungan yung farmers natin through them. So, 
parang sila yung dadun sa kanila dadan yung pera natin para mapunta sa mga farmers natin. So, ngayon, si, uy, ano, past forward 2019, let's look at yung site nila kung ano na yung nangyari dun sa Cropital. So, dito, hindi na ba yung site nila? It's, in Cropital, doing good comes with great rewards. So, para maintindihan natin to ng mas maayos, let's see yung how it works. So, dito, makita mo, Cropital connects the farmers to the world. Here's how you can be part of the mission to improve our farmers' lives. So dito makita mo there are like four steps. Yung una step is step one, choose the farm to invest in. So parang dito sign up and register to be able to view and invest in the selection of farms created for this cycle. So may ano natin tingnan yung mga farms. Step two muna, sa step two is farm successfully funded. So yun, mamaya makita nyo, ah, parang hindi na automatically pag nag-fund ka na ng farm, puno na agad siya. So parang aantayin pa natin siya mapuno. So, yun yung parang farm successfully funded. Then, step 3, empower farmers and improve productivity. So, nakalagay dito, the funds and resources will then be utilized to improve production. Capital manages the fund for the farmer, making sure it goes to the right resources in hopes that the investors get their return on investment. So, dito, tiyan natin yung how nila minamanage yung risk. So, how do we manage risk? It is a fact that there are risks involved in farming. This is where the core business of capital comes in. Providing structures that reduces risk and increases yung profitability ng mga farmers natin. So parang dito, makita mo, may types ng risk. Farmers risk, weather risks, pest risk, and market risk. So parang, para sa nag insure So dito, nakalagay sa farmer risk, covered, weather risk, covered, pest risk, covered, Tapos yung market risk, yun na, reduced lang. So, hindi ko din siya ganun kagets kung anong paano yun. Basta, feeling ko naman, uh, we're in good hands. Since nga, may na-manage na yung risk. Then, ito, step 4, gains or returns. Uh, after the harvest and once the produce has been sold, the capital will return to the investor's virtual wallet together with the profits shared. Read more about charges and returns. So, dito nakalagay, charges and returns, charges, 5% platform, service fee charge at the start of every investment, returns, returns is a fixed percentage, returns, returns is a fixed percentage of the net profit of the farm in which the user has invested. So, ngayon, let's try naman tingnan na yung mga farms. So, yun nga, dito may short term and long term. So, parang short term, 3 to 18 months, long term, siguro 18 months pataas. Let's see. So, yun na. Uh, dito, makikita nyo. Uh, I think types ng crops na uh, pag i natin. And to pag fully funded na 100% na. Tapos nakalagay din yung pangalan ng farmer and sa ang province yung farm nila. Now, move on naman tayo to farm on. Yan, let's just see. So, ito yung homepage ng farm on. Um... So, ayun, hindi siya ganun ka-organized or hindi ko alam kung saan ako pipikit, hindi ko alam kung ano click ko. So, ganun ko siya parang nakikita. So, basahin nila natin about us. So, it's pretty much the same. Crowdfunding for the farmers. Diba? Uh, ayun, may risk management din sila. So basically, it's almost the same. So, yeah, and pagka may questions ka, might as well check mo na lang yung frequently asked questions, yung FAQ. This is just a shallow dive regarding Cropital and Farm On. So, ang aim ko lang. And okay na, may tumawag lang. So, back to what I was saying. So, Cropital and Farm On is a crowdfunding platform. Para sa ating mga retail investors to be able to parang help and invest sa mga local farmers natin. Ah, this is just a shallow dive. So, hindi ko siya masyadong... Walang, I mean, parang ang labo pa nga ng video na to eh. Kasi ang plan ko is parang to me to have personal experience and yun yung sasabihin ko, i-share ko din this video. So, probably parang uh, I'm planning to like put a small amount of money pa doon siguro by uh, December or early next year. Then I'll just do a follow-up video regarding dito, based on ano, how how I based on my experience. 
And ayun, I think it would be a better ah uh, parang discussion or video na yun na parang talagang based on my experience rather than research research lang. Pero ayun na uh, if you're interested, you could check yung mga sites nila. I link it below. So ayun, uh, uh hopefully ma ma matuwa kayo and yun, invest in it. Legit naman sila. So yun, peace. I'm out. Goodbye.